I've just cut my hair with some dog hair cutting scissors. It's been a great morning. Back at Ocean Studios, I'm gonna be printing my last color, which is black. Let me just show you. So on Friday, um, I printed cyan, magenta, yellow, but I think when I was printing yellow, no, when I was printing magenta, my camera started dying on me. So I didn't even capture me printing the yellow, but I just wanted to do it because I was already here and I was like, I'm in the mood. I'm happy to be here. I want to do this. But it's really all the same thing. If, I, if you see me printing one color, it's like, I feel a bit bad showing you how I print all the colors because it's like, you're just doing the same thing, Sunny. Um, so I think you much rather see the finished outcome. Well, not finished because I'm still doing the black today. This one turned out the best, I think. Yeah, just because all the corners are like filled up, there's no patchiness. Well, there is a little bit, but I kind of like it. Her face, I was experimenting is really, with um, different pressures. For example, this one, when I was doing the yellow, I just brushed it really lightly. So you can see some greens over here because the yellow was printed so lightly but for this one the greens and yellows are super prominent because I used a heavier pressure with it I don't know which one do you prefer I'm a bit scared to print the black because I don't want to ruin it but at the same time the girl's dress is black and her hair is black so it'd be nice to have a punchier um, definition towards her I guess is what I'm trying to say. I'm actually really hungry because I didn't have breakfast yet. It's only 10. Should I go in the cafe? I'm gonna go in the cafe. Well I'm gonna expose my I should really do my screen first because that'll take like 20 minutes to dry and I can go in the cafe then. Okay. a cappuccino with soy milk hot and a uh, pano chocolat um, I brought my iPad with me because I know that the drawing takes a long time so last night I was working on wait I don't think I'm supposed to show you guys this but it's not like New York Magazine art directors would watch my YouTube channel, would they? It just got really bright for a second. The sun's out. Um, but I'm doing a editorial illustration for them. It's gonna be a header image, you know, before the article starts, and then two spot illustrations embedded within the article and then another um, illustration at the end like a conclusion one 
I've got the first one done. It's about, it's something about H&R Block. Do you guys know that brand? It's so familiar to me. I don't think it's a thing in Europe or in UK, but in America, I just see that sign everywhere, H&R Block. It's got a green, like a limeish green square that says H and R on it. And I have no idea what it does, honestly. But so basically New York Magazine and H&R Block are taming up or something like that. And they're writing an article on them. And it's something about how online shopping and getting your items shipped to your house is like such a hassle and then trying it on and then returning it. But H&R Block can make it easier. Um, so that's what I did last night. And today I'm just gonna work on the spot illustrations. They want me to try and animate it a little bit. So I don't know how to do that, but I was like, yes, I can totally do that for you. So I'm just gonna learn how. It shouldn't be that hard. I've done some animations in the past, but I'm definitely not familiar with it. So this is gonna be one of the spots and this is another one. And I'm gonna try to animate it. And also something with like the writing on it or the circling I can animate. A little bit about today's sponsor. Squarespace is a reliable online platform to showcase creativity to clients, professors, and publishers, as well as promoting your business and selling services and products. There's a little quiz for you to select the perfect template, and I'm just going to do a fashion one for an example. And once you've selected your goals, here's all the templates you can use for that, and they look so professional and sleek. My own website is a work in progress, but it's very clear and organized for other illustrators or art directors to check out. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash purplekabocha to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. I just want to show you guys this bag that I got from Depop. I've always been a tote bag girly. You know how much I use my Trader Joe's tote bag. But I decided to up my game a little for 2024 and found this gem on Depop. I just think it's perfect. It's got enough wear and tear already so I don't have to be precious about it and I can throw in my camera, my tripod, even like paintbrushes, sketchbook, things like that. Should I do a what's in my bag? Um, well, okay, let's do a what's in my bag. There it is, the sun again, like leave me alone. Claw clip, hairbrush, Ooh, it's getting a little gnarly. Um, my ID card, which doesn't work anymore because I graduated. Some tampons. This DJI mic that my boyfriend got me for Christmas. I'm gonna try it on me today, so we'll see how the audio goes. And this connects the camera to um, one of these little thingies. And then, yeah, you clip one onto you. Um, key with a chicken nugget. Some pads because I'm on my period. Eye drops. Mm, blotting paper. Uh, black honey lip balm or lip stick from Clinique. And this whatever glow thing, eye pencil shiny shimmery thing some lip oil and a little concealer oh, how do i get this uh concealer stick thingy more lipstick some hair ties cough drops extra battery little perfume in a mini bottle, a red ribbon. 
that's it. That's what's in my, oh, and like my iPad, of course. Yeah. So I've got my mic on and I'm just gonna do some testing. Hey guys. These metal screens are so hot when you leave them in like the heated dryer. That was loud. Slide this in. For some reason, the paint seeped through over there, so if I don't want it on my print, I have to block it out with tape. Misaligned. Yes, it's a bit streaky, but. I kind of like it. I should really put my hair up. Oh, that's a bit dark. Oh my god, last one. And this one's like already messed up, so. It doesn't really matter. I'm probably gonna give it away for free on Etsy. Oops. I think it's nice how some of them are more cool toned and others are warmer. It's almost as if it's day and night. 
I was almost scared to print the black in the beginning because I just didn't want to ruin it. But now that I did, I'm so glad because she just stands out so much better. There's also quite a lot of variations going on. Um, and that's what I like about silkscreen or any traditional printmaking in general is that every single print is unique. And I guess I'll just head on home because I've got some work to do for New York Magazine and yeah, it's been a short day but I really enjoyed it. I hope you guys did too. I've got some homemade jams. I'm gonna take the little price sticker off because that's not cute. This one is tangerine and lemon marmalade. And this one is blackberry and apple jam. Looking forward to having those on my crumpets with some butter. How you doing, George? Come here. Let the world see your pretty little face. I'm in Cornwall right now. Uh, my boyfriend's got a job to shoot for the little cottage and he's a property photographer. So he takes me out on... Well, I'm hard at work. Sonny's sat in the car with a camera Talking about jam for YouTube. Go on, Sonny. Tell us about that seeded preserve you've just picked up from the corner store. Ha! <laughs> She's just seen me. <laughs> when it's at a nicer location, I come with him because then we go out to the beach or whatever afterwards and it's like really pretty. I want to be in my bangs era, but I know I'm going to regret it two minutes after I cut it because I've never looked good in bangs and I don't know why every single time we just do it all over again thinking that our features have changed so much that it can handle bangs but <sighs> tell me in the comments to not cut bangs say it to my face oh I still have some coffee left that's exciting we got McDonald's on the way I baked this really nice banana bread a few days ago and we're almost done in fact this last chunky slice is the last of it we had some for breakfast before we headed out today it's really good um i used to not be able to bake properly because I'd be so scared of the butter and the oil and the sugar so I just like have everything and instead of like oil I put in Greek yogurt you know or instead of or I put in stevia for actual sugar or brown sugar and I put in less flour and I'd substitute it for oatmeal flour or like even shredded zucchini like I was into this zucchini pound cake phase you're thirsty oh you're adorable but yeah and like my cakes just never turned out good because I wasn't using good ingredients like I was using freaking rabbit food for it but now I've just like let go of that mentality i'm just like if i'm gonna have banana bread if i'm gonna have cookies then they better be fucking delicious like i actually find that cooking and baking really helped me especially when you can share the food with someone else it just lightens the burden you're not just doing it for yourself and you don't have to like overthink it's like 
I made a nice meal and we're gonna share it and we're gonna eat it and we're gonna have a good time about it. Sorry, I didn't mean to like talk about this in this particular moment. I don't know why I just started ranting about it. Um, I'm gonna try to read more of this book. I haven't really been at it the couple of days, but let's give it another go. Neat. He's lost it, John. Got stuck. Do you think it can hear you too? Maybe. It'll be like Big Brother. Sharp. That was the best thing I've ever done. <laughs> no way. <laughs> hey, John. Hey, Sonny. Stand up here. <laughs> no, no, John, John. <laughs> Shrubbly shrew? Shrubbly shrew. <laughs> For dinner tonight, I'm making roasted butternut squash with gnocchi, goat cheese, and I'm also adding in chicken and chorizo for extra protein and yumminess. This is actually one of the first recipes that I learned from a cookbook, in fact. I wasn't really much of a cook. Um, I had a lot of canned soup. I don't know if you guys remember this from a year ago. That's all I ate in Plymouth. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, release down into the mat. Relax down, hug your knees in towards your chest and stretch. Inhale, extend. Exhale, press. As if calmness and relaxation now beginning to flow down through your whole body now. From the top of your head, all the way down to the tips of your toes. 
every nerve, every cell, every fiber, every consciousness of your body is relaxing nicely now. 